Archaeologists from the Oxford University School of Archaeology have used satellite imagery to identify and map more than 350 monumental hunting structures known as kites in northern Saudi Arabia and southern Iraq, most of which were never seen. Had previously been documented. Early aircraft pilots have reported sightings of low stone wall structures leading to a head enclosure and guiding walls that often ran for miles. Called kites, these structures are known to date back to the Neolithic period, around the year 8000 BCE, and were used to guide prey animals like gazelles into areas where they could be captured or killed. Though they are large structures, kites are not easily visible from the ground. Archaeologists, therefore, rely on open-source information such as those available in commercial satellites or platforms such as Google Earth to find them. The structures have been documented in eastern Jordan and southern Syria before, but newly found evidence shows that they're prevalent nearly 250 miles 400 kilometers, further east in northern Saudi Arabia and southern Iraq too. Dr. Fradley said, the structures we found displayed evidence of complex, careful design. In terms of size, the heads of the kites can be over 100 meters wide, but the guiding walls, the strings of the kite, which we currently think gazelle and other game would follow to the kite heads, can be incredibly long. In some of these new examples, the surviving portion of walls run in almost straight lines for over 4 kilometers, often over very varied topography. This shows an incredible level of ability in how these structures were designed and built. Evidence shows that there were significant resources needed to be dedicated to the construction and maintenance of kites. The process of hunting and returning the remains to the communities was also resource-intensive, and therefore, kites were more than just hunting grounds. Their scale and form were also meant to express identity and territoriality. Their appearance in rock art in Jordan is also proof that they were important symbols of the era. These new sites suggest a previously unknown level of connection right across northern Arabia at the time they were built. They raise exciting questions about who built these structures, who the hunted game were intended to feed, and how the people were able to not only survive, but also invest in these monumental structures. In the context of this new connectedness, the distribution of the star-shaped kites now provides the first direct evidence of contact through, rather than around, the Nafud Desert. This underlines the importance areas that are now desert head under more favorable climatic conditions in enabling the movement of humans and wildlife. It is thought the kites were built during a wetter, greener climatic period known as the Holocene Humid Period, between around 900 and 400 BC. The largest number of kites were built on the Al Labba Plateau in the Nafud Desert, where the absence of later Bronze Age burial monuments suggests that a shift into a drier period meant some of these areas became too marginal to support the communities once using these landscapes, with game species also potentially displaced by climate change. Whether the patterns of kite construction over space and time represent the movement of ideas or people, or even the direction of that movement, remain questions to be answered. The project, supported by the Arcadia Fund, is now extending its survey work across these now arid zones to further develop our understanding of these landscapes and the effect of climate change.